inside a computer program? Is it really so hard to believe? Welcome back. In this program, I'm going to show you how I've created um, a wavy text effect in Turbo Pascal. Um, I'm not going to give you a detailed overview of what the program is actually doing because there is a few complicated parts of it, but I'm just going to give you a rough overview of what's actually happening within the program and you can download the source code yourself and try it out and see what each part is doing and what happens when you change bits and, and run through it yourself and see how I've done what I've done basically. It's not a large program, um, it, you could probably type up in about 10 minutes so have some fun with it. So the, the first part of the program here is the move procedure which is called three times within the program which is fairly simple. The first part of the program, or the procedure, sorry, is it tells it to go to the new position. Then it tells it to change the colour to a random colour between 1 and 15. And then it writes the, the new letter. Then it goes to the old position. And then it blanks it out by the right space. Okay? The second part here is we're just declaring a few of the variables that we're going to need. And the first thing is the title wave and to set the length of the title or to find the length of the title. And the second part is to set up the ray. And then we're just going to set the, the center x and the center y. This is the center point in the screen, but not necessarily where the title will start to write. We want to start it slightly off to the left so is that the title is centered within the screen and to, to find that starting point I've done this here the trunk um, function that I've used there just make sure that I'm not returning a double which we can't use, it has to be an integer and this part here Basically, all it's doing is writing out the, the title array with a different colour for each layer. Then we're setting the, setting the current position, the new position, and the current X for each layer of the array. The title start minus one plus the count is probably one of them little complicated bits that I could probably spend more time explaining but it basically the first time it runs it will be at the title start position the second time it runs it will be at the title start position plus whatever the count is so if it, the second time it runs the count is 2 it will be plus 2 but it, it just makes sure that it's in the second position of, of the text the count alone wouldn't do that the count alone would put it away at the start of the screen which we don't want, we want it to be like halfway along and that's why we have to, to bring in the title start there. Then we're setting the marker 1 and the, and the, the max height and the minus 3 represents how high up the wave is going to go and the marker 1 is really important to the algorithm um, I could probably spend you know 10 minutes talking about that but the first part of the program is it goes into a delay um, within a repeat of 150 milliseconds and it repeats it until the key is pressed so it will continue to wave the text until we've pressed the, the, the key and then at the end of the repeat or the first move uh, the marker goes up so the first time the, the, the title's there the, the the title's flat it moves the first character then the, the repeat's finished and then it goes into the, the repeat again, this time the marker being 2 it moves the first character up again and then the second ca character the third time it's ran it moves the first character up to the top then the ca second character up again and then the third character and it continues on this move until it gets to the end of the, the title's length and then after that each layer just gets continued to, to move from whatever position it's at and whatever direction it's travelling at now what we're doing there is we're testing that the, the, the letter is moving up the way by seeing if the new position is higher or lower than the current position and then we are moving the text and then resetting the, 
the current the new position in the current position so that it continues to move up. Then what we're doing is we're testing if it fails that basically that is it's probably at the top of the of the move and we want it to start moving it down the way. So what we're one making sure that the new position is less than or equal to the centre Y, which would mean that it's not at the bottom, then testing that the is not is less than or equal to the max height and then we're basically just setting the the new position so that it continues to move back down. That's what we're doing there, okay? And then we're going to call the move procedure which will move it down and then reset the position so that it continues to move down on the next time the move um, procedure is called basically. Now if it doesn't match any of them, the only other possibility is that it's reached the bottom of the, it's went up, come back down and then it's reached the bottom and we have to start moving it back up again. So it resets the, the positions to move up, it moves it and then resets the positions, the current position, new position to continue moving up the way. And that's it. Title waving.